Did you know that water probably isn't wet? That in certain situations your blood is green? And that putting maggots on a wound isn't necessarily a bad thing? These freaky things are just a few of the many jaw-dropping discoveries scientists have made. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 strange scientific findings that'll leave you stunned. 25. The first computer mouse was made of wood. We call them mice because, well, they look like mice with a long tail. Except for this one, it's wireless. No surprises there. What is surprising is that they made a computer mouse out of wood. This happened way back in 1964 thanks to game-changing inventor Doug Engelbart. The man who created this handy little dude went for an all-natural design. It was a groundbreaking development, as long as he didn't mind getting splinters. 24. The moon is in color. The moon is in the gray place you may think it is. Far from being like a black and white movie, the surface of the moon features mustard yellows and tints of blue. Modern technology has enabled us to see these shades like never before. And they aren't just decorative. Where there are colors, they're usually things like minerals for us to explore. 23. Roosters have built-in earplugs. Roosters have a habit of waking people up in the morning. The strange thing is, they have their own earplugs. This natural blocking system comprises a piece of soft tissue, plus another organic part that comes together to protect the rooster's eardrums. Findings were published in 2018. So, now you know how they cock a doodle do to their heart's content and not go deaf. 22. People who cuss are more honest. Using foul language is something we've been warned against since childhood. Though maybe young people should be encouraged to cuss if science has anything to do with it. In 2017, experts revealed that people who turned the air blue had higher levels of honesty and integrity. The team studied how individuals behaved in a lab and on social media to come to this staggering conclusion. Which just reminds me of those people I... <laughs> I'm just honest. <laughs> 21. Naked and radioactive. How would you protect yourself from radioactivity? You wear one of those big suits, right? Well, maybe not. Stripping down is recommended in the event of being outside in a danger zone. Your bare skin offers zero protection, of course, but removing any contaminated clothes before you go outside is a good move. That reportedly gets rid of 90% of any nasty material that's settled on you. you you'd probably keep your underwear on, though. 20. How animals experience time. There's time as you see it on a clock, and time as you perceive it. How many times have you thought it was a certain time only to be surprised when looking at the clock? Animals don't have clocks to look at, yet they have their own perception of time. And according to science, it could be much slower than ours. For example, a 2013 study showed that small creatures pick up higher light frequencies, suggesting they could be experiencing the world in slow motion. It's all a matter of perspective. 19. How do we know water is wet? Um, easy. We, we jump into it and <laughs> we get pretty wet. What a strange question. Or is it? You see, a state of wetness occurs when you stick your hand in a bucket of water. Who's to say that that isn't just the reaction of water to a solid object? It doesn't necessarily mean that water is wet when we're not interfering with it. 18. Wearing a tie can affect your brain. You look smart in a necktie, but be warned. Wearing one could potentially reduce the blood going to your brain. By how much? A surprising 7.5%. The 2018 study worked this out by using a tie in a Windsor knot which was worn for 15 minutes. Once the tie was removed, the blood flow reduction actually dropped to 5.7%. 17. Our ears constantly grow. In 2007, scientists concluded that your ears continue to grow throughout your life. This discovery is made even stranger by the fact that we aren't exactly sure why. So the next time you feel the urge to shout, hey big ears, you might want to take a look in the mirror first. We all have ears that are getting bigger by the day. Uh, does anyone shout that at literally anyone? 16. Ants don't need lungs. It's tough being an ant. Many of them are workers scurrying here and there and everywhere. Now, getting out of breath is different when you're an ant, because instead of lungs, you have weird holes in your body through which the air passes, 
These are known as spiracles, and you can imagine that there are a lot of them. 15. Your head affects the sound of your voice. Why does your voice sound different in your head than it does in a recording? Well, because the sound you're listening to is filtered through all those bones and other materials. This favors the low frequency vibrations. As a result, you're bassier and gruffer. Well, at least that's how it sounds. When you hear your own voice back from another source, it's usually a surprise. Usually, I've been doing this so much, the voice I hear here is exactly the voice I hear when I watch these videos back. So, <laughs> I'm so used to the sound of, I talk a lot. And that's, I'm not even talking just list 25. In general, in life, I talk a lot. 14, autism in animals. Some animals show human-like traits, but do they share more specific things, like a diagnosis of autism? It's been speculated that when a dog chases its tail, it's showing repetitive behaviors that could be linked to the disability. 13. Smell can move through liquid. You're not protected from something like a fart because you're underwater. Smell molecules take longer to move through water than they do through air, but believe me, they are moving. And if that sounds like a strange fact, well, then, you know, this is a strange list. 12. Maggots can help your wound. I know, it, it sounds horrible, but it works. Sure, you don't want creepy crawlies in your wound eating away at you, but look at it this way. While they're eating you, they're consuming the nasty stuff that's infecting you. I definitely wouldn't recommend it as a home remedy. However, in a controlled environment, it should work pretty effectively. Did you know that the maggot could be used as an antibacterial cleaning machine? 11. Find your snuff box. If you don't know what a snuff box is, it's a little box people used to carry around so they could inhale snuff. Snuff itself is made from tobacco and oil. Did you know that you have a snuff box as part of your hand? Well, something shaped like one anyway. The so-called anatomical snuff box is a little nook type thing under your thumb that you can probably see if you extend it, but be careful though, you don't want to strain anything. 10. We alternate our nostrils. You've, most likely, got two nostrils, but don't assume they're being used simultaneously. Using both dries out the air and causes irritation, so your brain orders you to breathe through one at a time. You know, when I take a breath consciously, I do it through both nostrils, and I'm sure you do too, so this is probably really strange to hear, and now you're conscious of it, so... Sorry. 9. Your blood looks green underwater. Being attacked by a shark is a primal fear. The idea of encountering a marine predator and getting bitten, filling the sea with your blood? A horrible thought. Though, surprisingly, the blood wouldn't be red. Scientists have found that if you're ever over 10 meters down in the water, your blood will be green. Why is that? Well, because sunlight loses its redness the deeper you get. It doesn't make the attack any less horrifying, but hey, it's a novelty, at least. So feel comfort in that? Don't try this one at home. For all you people who have sharks at your house. <laughs> it sounded better in my head. Eight. What goes into one spoonful of honey? The image of bees working away in the hive to provide honey is a comforting one, and you wind up with a sticky treat to spread on your toast or muffin. You may rethink things, though, after hearing how much effort it takes to produce just one tablespoon of honey. It takes the bee team, <laughs> see what we did there? Six weeks working in a group of 36. A staggering two million flowers, approximately, go into the making of a pound of the stuff. Honey may give you a buzz, but it's actually quite exploitative. So, just some honey. I was gonna, I was gonna put it on a spoon, but I have to hold this, so I don't want honey all over my floor. Seven, fish like queuing. Our fishy friends form an orderly queue. Scientists have found that neon tetrafish, or a Parachyridon inessi, avoid predators the sensible way by swimming one behind the other and not getting into a panic, much like the sand people. Underwater stampedes are apparently a thing and can be catastrophic if a bunch of fishes are trying to escape a hungry shark. Or fish. 
which also, also the plural of fish, is fish. Six, you have space dust in your hair. Dandruff problems? That one hits close to home. Real quick, not dandruff, uh, it's psoriasis, but yeah. Anyway, the answer could be lying in deep space. Not for me, it's, it's my skin. Nah, this list is making me sad now. Approximately 14 tons of dust from space falls to the planet Earth every day. It comes from the likes of comets. Those heavenly bodies shed material which makes its way to your body. And some of this material winds up in your hair. Something to think about the next time you're cleaning your comb. I just, I'm, from now on, anytime any of y'all comment, hey, what's with that guy's red marks? I'm gonna tell you it's comet dust. Five, neutron teaspoon. I want you to imagine something and bear with me. It's a little strange. Imagine you could get close enough to a neutron star to put a teaspoon in it. Then scoop out a tiny, tiny part of that star. How much would it weigh? Well, according to experts, over a trillion tons, which puts it way over the weight of the entire human population on Earth. Just that. That's incredible. Four, 99% identical. Every human being is different. Though talk of individuals being beautiful and unique snowflakes is maybe a little overstated. On a genetic level, we're all pretty much the same. DNA evidence shows there's only about 1% in it between us. That said, our personalities make us what we are. Genetics is only part of the deal. Three, clouds are heavier than you think. Marshmallow clouds? I don't think so. Clouds look lighter than air, but the reality is they're super heavy. An average bulky cloud weighs as much as a million pounds. So, how does it stay up in the air? Aerodynamics. Warm air rises up and creates a cushioning layer which carries the cloud along. How do aircraft cope up there with those substantial things? I'm certainly going to look at clouds a whole lot differently from now on. Probably because they change shape and you're going to look at them like they're different things. Two. You can put out a fire with sound. Fire! Call the authorities! Or turn on your MP3 player. Acoustics levitation can be used to interfere with combustion. In layman's terms, pressure from sound waves can extinguish a flame. A 2016 experiment carried out at the California State Science Fair saw frequencies of between 30 and 65 hertz putting out fires. Sound either affects the heat or the oxygen, but experts aren't certain which. Either way, it's a cool discovery. Literally. One, your eyes can be repaired. In 2019, a truly extraordinary medical procedure took place where someone's eyesight was repaired with the use of stem cells. This happened in Japan, where pluripotent stem cells were applied to a cornea. Stem cells can potentially grow new cells in the body, and if you're wondering what a cornea is, well, it's that layer that covers up the iris and the pupil. This procedure is still a work in progress, but it got positive results from the patient. The idea that your eyes could one day be repaired as simply as a broken leg is an astounding prospect. So, which of these facts stunned you? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out all our social medias, including my personal ones, links in that description. And you know what? There is so much strangeness in science that you can't fit it all in one video, which is why there's another one about weird and random science facts right here. Just click on the link and I guarantee that your mind will be turned inside out. Not, not literally. That would be horrific, but I will see you soon for another list. Click. It's real, real simple. You know those mice I was talking about earlier? Use that. Click.